This here is my high voltage ZVS driver. Um, built it all myself. Runs off full rectified mains, so roughly 160 volt DC. It's got a low voltage turn on switch and a high voltage push button switch. The low voltage turn on is absolutely necessary, I found. Otherwise, every time I tried to switch it straight to mains, it would explode. So uh, yeah, lots of, uh, lots of failures there. The coil itself and this beautiful enclosure, which I built, um, were very difficult to make, especially this high voltage secondary. I found the segmented bobbins is definitely the way to go with this kind of stuff. Um, there's not any arcing in between layers that I've had, and I'm spitting out roughly 75, 80,000 volts from this, so it's pretty good. Only issue I had was that when you hit the high voltage button, these thin 30 gauge wires which are coming out to some bolts here that I encased in hot glue and PVC fittings, they would actually get drawn in and you can see over here there's that arc where it formed and luckily it didn't destroy the coil because I think I would have cried if it did. Uh, in here I just got some audio jack like connectors in there so it's just easy plug and play kind of banana clips. Um, the low voltage turn on, I actually have hooked up to some LEDs to remind me that it is on because there's been times when I'm fiddling about and making adjustments and, you know, doesn't look like anything's happening and I get a, I get a zap and it's definitely not the worst, but it's not fun. That's for sure. So it's a nice little reminder that it's doing its thing. It spits out around 5,000 volts too on the low voltage turn on. So that sucks. Um, yeah, so here you go. ZVS driver. And it's uh, powering this beautiful Jacob's Ladder. That, let me turn that off. So I got some salted rods here, just to give it some orange color. It's pretty cool. I've been experimenting with different colors. Uh, so far I can get that. And if I do some aluminum, which I'm still working on, it turns blue. It's pretty neat. That was a harder time. It kind of sticks. That's a good one. So yeah, there you go. And uh, I have the amp meter hooked up here, my volt meter really, just to show you the peak current that this thing can draw. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. 24 and a half amps. That's the max peak current. It's pretty good. Pretty high wattage there.